Portland police are investigating a horrible crime this evening. 67-year-old Pat Watson, the victim of a fatal stabbing. Investigators say the suspect is her own son. News Channel 5's Rodney Dunnigan is live in Portland outside the home on Jackson Road. And Rodney, how did police find out about all of this? Well, Vicki, apparently it was a co-worker of the victim who alerted police after she was a no-show at work for two days in a row. When police got to the home here, they searched it and found the victim stabbed to death in her bedroom. We spoke with a number of neighbors in this community, and they were simply devastated. And so uh, it's unbelievable. I loved her so much. She's just like a sister to me. At this point, investigators say all signs point to Pat Watson's son, Scott, as the culprit in this murder. Apparently, friends of the victim visited Pat Watson's home when she didn't show up for work. Her son alerted them she'd simply taken a vacation and would be back soon. But friends say that excuse didn't add up. They say it was out of Watson's character to leave town, cut work, and not tell anyone. When police visited the home, Scott Watson gave them that same story. When they searched the home, they found Watson dead in her bedroom. We've been here, I guess, 26 years as neighbors, and she was really a sweet person. But lately, she's been telling me that she's been more fearful of Scott um, because he's been acting more strange on her heels all the time and just really worrying her. Scott Watson has been charged with murder. At this point, police are still trying to determine a motive he's being held in the Sumner County lockup tonight. For now, reporting live in Portland, Rodney Dunnigan, News Channel 5 HD. Thanks, Rodney. And